smokes. What a throw. Right on the button. 10-5. Touchdown, Tigers! I can't wait for this LSU-Bama game. If this doesn't get your blood flowing, nothing will. CBS Sports College Football Post Game Show is presented by Rocket Mortgage. All right, welcome to the College Football Post Game Show presented by Rocket Mortgage. I'm Adam Zucker. Tonight on CBS begins with Bull and NCIS Los Angeles, followed by a new edition of 48 Hours. Tonight, only CBS. In the game you just saw, Georgia holds off Florida 24 to 17 for the inside track to the SEC East Crown. And for the 14th straight time, it's the team that wins the running battle that wins the ball game. Moments ago, Jamie Erdahl with the head dog, Kirby Smart. Coach, an emotional finish for you. What's going through your mind right now? Because you seem to be pretty fired up trying to greet all your teammates, all your players here. I'm just proud of these kids. You know, so many people doubted these kids. So many people doubted these kids. And all they did was work. Block out the noise and work. And they keep working. Don't doubt Jake Fromm now. He's a competitor. This team's got good leaders on it. The transfers come in, Cager and Eli Wolf, and they put some product on the field. What did it show you that they were able to prove themselves in this environment, not knowing what they were getting into? Well, these kids have played big league ball. They know what it's about. They're really good competitors. Just proud of the university and so many people embracing this team and coming out and playing the right way. Our defense, resilient again and again. Tough thing in this league. Humility is a week away. Speaking of this league, you are now in the driver's seat for the SEC championship. Is this team where it needs to be to set themselves up December 7th? Absolutely not. We got a lot of road games, a lot of tough games coming up. We got three really good teams to play in our conference alone. So this is a good team we beat today, but our team's got a good team. We got some tough ones coming down the road. Thanks, Kirby. Thank you. Well, the man is a realist. They do have uh, Auburn and A&M to deal with here in uh, November. As I'm rejoined by Brian Jones, and the man who was yelling, take a knee, from the two-minute mark forward, uh, Rick Neuheisel. And Jake Fromm threw 30 passes and won a game. Well, you just heard from his head coach, don't doubt Jake Fromm. 20 for 30, over 270 yards, two touchdowns. And ironically, the last pass there, you're going to see it right here. This last play was his 30th pass, <laughs> and it ends up clinching the win. And so forever is gone when he throws 30 passes, they're 0-5. They're now 1-5. I thought that was going to be a pick. <laughs> yeah, well, this dude is a, a different breed, the, the, the clutch variety, because that was super clutch, Heisman-like in that moment, knowing they're going to bring the pressure. They almost get to him. He stays in there, keeps his poise about him, has enough strength to get the ball to Eli Wolf as tight end for a huge first down and on the day wait 12 or 17 on third down Florida could not get off the field and we have to tip our hat to that Georgia Bulldogs defense as well they were a straight up menace right coming off the shutout against Kentucky now they have to face Missouri which they'll get at home I mentioned the Auburn and A&M Florida has to go to Missouri so the Tigers mathematically still alive as well for the East crown but but I thought there'd be a little bit more of a weight off the shoulders of uh, Kirby Smart here well he knows there's still a lot of football still to be yeah. played right he's got Auburn still down the road he's got Texas A&M coming yeah. to town he knows that team still has to get better if they're going to get where they want to go. Cake is far from being baked. But you could eat it maybe just you a little. Eat a little bit. Yeah, yeah. The, the eggs are cooked. Gotta put some icing on it. <laughs> All right. Well, we're getting hungry. Uh, <laughs> check the scoreboard here. This thing's still going. Uh, Mississippi uh, State up 30 right now on Arkansas. They had uh, lost their last four games coming in here, but Kylan Hill with a career high 234 yards and three touchdowns. And Texas AM. Uh, putting up 45 on UTSA. Isaiah Spiller cracking the 200 mark there with three touchdowns for him. We're also going to tell you about Clemson's Travis Etienne and his big day on the ground when we return. He ate, he
Welcome back. A reminder over on CBS Sports Network, it's number 17 Cincinnati and ECU right now, followed by number 21 Boise State and San Jose State. More ranked teams to get to as we go back to the scoreboard right now, Rick, and Travis Etienne going into the Clemson record books against Wofford. He is eating and eating and Etienne some more. Here he goes. 86 yards for a touchdown. Fellas, nine carries, 212 yards on the day. The Wofford Terriers have seen enough of Travis Etienne. Yeah, they have as uh, Clemson scores 45 or more for the fourth straight game, and he's got the most touchdowns in Clemson history uh, with that performance today where he had two of them. Meanwhile, mixed results for former Bulldog quarterback Jacob Easton against Utah, Ooh, BJ. Yeah, this is the, the good. He's going to find Hunter Bryant. I actually found him a couple times in this ball game for scores and, and didn't get too much better after. He threw a couple picks, and then Tyler Huntley up the Utes. He's going to get inside for just inside of the cone and a score for Utah. And Easton had thrown a pick six the time before that, part of 20 unanswered points for the Utes to try to stay in that one loss mix here and uh, rise up in the rankings perhaps a little bit. Meanwhile, Notre Dame, oh, after the loss to Michigan, didn't look too good. They get their first lead of the second half right here in the final minute, Rick. A little bit of a hangover, but Ian Book saves the day. Seven-yard keeper late in the game. They on the extra point, Whoa. little bobble, little heart stoppage. Little they find a way over. to get it through. That is Jonathan Doerr kicking it through the uprights for the decisive it, point. Ian Book uh, throwing 53 passes in this game, but Notre Dame finds a way to get the win over yeah, 18, Virginia Tech. 18 play, 87-yard drive to end it. B.J., Army! Woo! Army had won five straight against the fellow service academies until... Yeah, the pitcher to Joshua Stoner. Gets on in the zone and on fourth down. Kelvin Hopkins. Looking for the star, uh -oh. overshoots Ortiz of turnover on downs. How about Timothy Jackson for Falcons? 20 rushes, 155 on the day, only 129 rushes for Army. Air Force cannot win the Commander-in-Chief's trophy. Army can retain it if they beat Navy at yeah. the end of the year. All right, that'll do it for this week. We thank you for watching the college football postgame show presented by Rocket Mortgage. Here's a look at what's coming up tonight on CBS. A reminder, the Home Depot SCC on CBS continues next Saturday with a blockbuster matchup of one versus two when top-ranked LSU battles Alabama. Rick, BJ, and I will be in Tuscaloosa to get it all started at 2.30 Eastern with the drive to Atlanta presented by Mercedes-Benz, followed by State Farm College Football today. And the NFL on CBS kicks off tomorrow with a doubleheader. Most will see the Colts and Steelers, followed by the Packers and Chargers. It all gets started at noon Eastern with the NFL today. For all of us, have a good evening, enjoy the rest of your weekend, and don't forget to turn those clocks back. Yes. More sleep.